Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be making one of my custom spreads for one of my patrons over on Patreon. This one is for Dawn. She requested an undated spread featuring Belle. So I'm going to do a Belle spread. I haven't used Belle in a while, I feel. Um, but I love, I love Belle. She, I love Beauty and the Beast. Love that movie. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a spread for her. I just want to give a quick shout out to Dawn. Thank you so much for being one of my patrons again this month on the Deluxe Mini tier. Very excited to do this spread for you. And um, also I plan on doing a small little sheet to a little half sheet size page to coordinate with this as well. So yes, thank you, Dawn. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm going to start with using some of the Disney stickers. I really love the um, the newer version of, well, this isn't the newest version, but I love this illustrated version of the princesses. And I don't think I've used Belle from this book at all. So I have all, all these Belle stickers to choose from. I also have this pack of boxes to choose from as well. And I might bring in some flowers I haven't decided that yet. Um, and then I also printed out some books from my Cricut. I have the Cricut subscription so I can use their artwork and print it and it's included in my monthly fee that I pay there. So I printed out some books because I feel like Bell and books, like I have to have books and a Bell spread. So I'm gonna add in some books, some flowers because I know she likes flowers. And yeah, it's just gonna be a pretty bell theme spread. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to undate this planner. I just grabbed some old sheets. These are from January. So I'm just going to use this, uh, what is this called? <laughs> I always forget what this pen, oh yeah, the Uniball Signo pen to undate this. Actually, I need to look in to see if there's like undated planner sheets. I haven't looked into that. Probably be better to get those. But for now, I'm just using some dated sheets to do these custom spreads. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue coloring these in and then I'm gonna do that too as well. While this was drying, I was deciding what I wanted to do. I actually brought out the new spring floral sticker book from Planny Thing. This is still available if you're interested in purchasing. I love this, especially since now the stickers are matte. They're like on a different level now. They're gorgeous. So I love these yellow flowers because they kind of play off of like Belle's gold dress. And so I kind of want to use those with this spread. So I already started pulling and clustering some stickers together. I really like how this looks. So I'm going to use this little cluster. I'm just going to wipe out this. And put this down here. And then I do have some yellow boxes and I do want to add in the books. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to layer these. Maybe I could put this, actually let me, let me check on here. So if I put this here, I could put this here. Okay, I could do that. Um, I do have this remember so I can cover this up with remember. I feel like I need yellow up here though, this thing. So Maybe 
should do is I want yellow up here. No. No, I think I kind of want this layered here. Sorry, I was <laughs> like, like I'll just thinking about what I want to do. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I do need yellow up here. This is too long. Okay, so something is a little bit off. I think this needs to go down here. I try to make sure, like, I get really picky about how I do these spreads since I want them to be perfect. Well, as perfect as possible. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these books off. Maybe that'll help. At least I got some books over here. Like that. I wasn't sure, like, how to size those books, so I kind of just guessed when I did it. I like that. Maybe add another flower. Add some leaves. something to cover up the errands. Oh, let me cover up this focus too. I do have these books. I was thinking of adding them like over here. And then I could add another bell. Let's see about another bell.
Okay. I might cut the books down just a little bit. I don't want to cut off her um, head or her bun because I think it's cute. So I'm just going to put her in the middle because it still gives enough room to write. And I can layer a box here. It's too big. I think I like the flowers without the leaves. I think the green is throwing me off. So I'm just going to pull these off. Let's see how this looks. I mean, I like the green. I think I'll find different color leaves. Because there are other leaves in this book. It's just that green is so... I don't know. These are a little bit softer. I don't know. I'll have to figure out the leaves. I'm not sure. On the leaves... And I think I am going to lift her face up so I can color the line that's going through her face. That. find some more boxes which I think I might have in here yeah I got this yellow box I'm actually gonna cut this down I don't need that big yellow piece on top Let's at least I have a little box she just said to put boxes anywhere so I can just put them wherever they look good, which is good. Okay. Oh, and I have quotes. Okay, maybe I'll do a quote to fill in this gap right here. Okay, so none of those match. She only has foiled quotes. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. This courage is golden, but I don't really want to use that. It's more orange than um, yellow. This has like a purpley blue one. No, there is it. Okay, so I guess I'll just use her. one says strong at heart. Okay, and then I 
have some of these. I actually don't like that this is right there. So I'll have to figure out something for there. But I do want to add these to this side of the page. I got remember this. I'll actually do this one over here. Don't forget here. I'm gonna take these little flags and I'm gonna do to do and I want to add more florals over here too but I just want to get these functional things down first do there okay so I can do flowers here Maybe I should do some more books. I have these books. I'm just going to use these because I cut off the edge. Right there. Yeah, I need to figure out the flowers because the flowers are not my favorite. I think I do need to add in green. I just don't like the green that we used earlier, so I might pull in different green. Let's see how this one looks. This one's a little darker. I kind of like this one better. It's not as bright. Yeah, I definitely need a green on the spread or like some leaves on the spread so that helps okay I'm gonna add in more flowers so I've got this big one This is too little. Can okay, I try it out here? It's not taking up too much space. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out this. I do want to add in some washi, but I'm still trying to figure out this side, like how I want to do to kind of fix that area because I don't like the way it looks. Um, let me think. So I have this little box. I'm just going to cover up the calls and emails here. So that's usually what I like to do. I like to cover up these areas. I'm gonna add this focus on dreaming there. 
think this is crooked. <laughs> Okay, and I might cover that up with like washi, or I could just wet it out. Let me wet it out for now before I decide what I'm gonna do over here. Okay, I think that side looks really cute like that. It's really pretty. And then I did want to put like a quote or something here, so I have a circle sticker. I have this one, or I have this one. I mean, I like the pop of yellow on this side. So I'm just going to cover up Monday through Sunday and then put this sticker down. It's really pretty. So be true to you. There. All right. So I think the last thing I'm going to do is washi. Um, for now, though, I am going to move on to the little sheet of like filler paper that I plan on making. And I'm going to maybe do pink stickers. I don't know because I'm I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I think for now this is done. Just I need to add in washi. And then I'm going to bring in the little sheet of paper now. I have a mini sheet of filler paper. I picked this one because I like that I didn't have any design on the edge. And I plan on cutting this part off. So this is the side I'm going to decorate, which has the grid. Maybe I will do pink. And then um, this side, I'm, the other side, she can just write on it. If she has any extra things she needs to jot down in the mini planner. Okay. So I'm going to cut this down. I always forget how I cut these, but I kind of just eyeball it. I should probably remember how small I'm making them. But yeah, I just kind of cut them down a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I still want it to be a good size. Um, I just don't want it to be the full size. So it will cover up some of this. And since this page is pink, I know I didn't do pink on this spread, but I kind of want to do this one, the little sheet pink. Because she doesn't have to use it in this spread, you know? And I have a lot of pink stickers because I use a lot of the other stickers already. I kind of want to use the pink ones. And then this girl, or this bell, is different. Like, I don't like to use the same bell like, multiple times, like the, like the position. So at least this is a different bell pose that I can use. So I'm going to put her... Now it's going to be like two. Okay. I'm going to put her here. I'm going to put some flowers too. We'll see how the yellow flowers work with her in this spread. Wow, it's so crooked. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, try that again. Okay, that's better. That. I do like that pink. I'm going to do just pink and yellow. Like I said, I have a lot of pink and yellow stickers. Or 
pink stickers. I should add this. No, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I do have this. I can do like to do list. Do you want this to be like a functional page you can use? Let me see if these books that I cut out work. I don't know if they will though, because they're kind of big. I didn't cut out smaller ones. Mm -hmm. No, they're too big. Okay, so I'm not gonna add those in here. I'm just gonna keep it pink and yellow. Actually, I like this pink better. Don't forget. I do have this little yellow to do for here. I think I'm gonna add a box over here too. Okay, let me get the boxes sticker book. I got a few boxes in here. Oh, this is cute actually. Oops. Maybe I should put that there. yellow box which I realize now doesn't fit <laughs> okay let me do this a little bit differently than I put it down so I'm gonna layer this here Get some leaves. For over here. That. Maybe a circle sticker. Oh no, they're not in here. They are in this book. Okay, I got Focus on gratitude. Just gonna stick that there. Okay, I think that works. I just need washi. So since it's Bell is all about reading, I feel like this is the perfect washi script washi to add to the spread so yeah I'm just gonna add this but in like thin strips so I'm just gonna cut it and rip it so I got thin strips definitely want some over here to cover up this white out situation And I can do 
some going across this way just to tie it in on this side as well. Okay, and then I'm going to do some on the very bottom. I think that's a perfect touch for that spread. Cute. Okay, and this one, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some. Okay, I'm gonna do some down here. And I'll do some. up because I feel like I need more space. We can write a little bit more there, but I think I cut this too short. I meant to cut it towards the um, circle sticker. That's okay. I have an, one last piece that I can use for here and cut it around the circle. All right, cool. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this into the planner. I like to see how it looks on the discs. With Bell. Oh, I need to cut this out actually. Which thankfully I have this punch. I can cut the little punch. So there is the mini spread. Came out really cute. I love how that turned out. And then the extra little sheet, which I did with a pink theme. I really like how that turned out as well. Super cute. So yeah, I, I like doing these little mini sheets for the mini um, spreads because honestly, sometimes like the mini planner sometimes isn't enough. For, for me, I use it for on the go. A lot of like list making. So I always try to use filler paper when I use my mini. So I like to add that with these spreads. And I mean, you don't have to, she doesn't have to use this with this spread or she could use it with this spread. I think it's really cute. It coordinates, but it's not matchy matchy, which I also like too. So yeah, that is my custom mini spread for my deluxe mini patron, Dawn. Love how it turned out. I hope Dawn really loves it too. I'm sure she will because I know she really likes Belle. So yeah, super excited to send this off to her and for her to see this video. I actually plan on having her watch. I usually have them watch it first. So by the time everybody else gets to watch it, she's already seen it. Um, but yeah, that is my spread for Dawn. Dawn, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Thank you again for being one of my patrons. I really appreciate you being here. And thank you all for watching this video. If you did you know, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.